Hey guys, how's it going? This is your host, Rowdy, and this is a Rathco production. <coughs> okay, so this is only about the 50th time I have started this game over again. Welcome to Mist Survival. Let's see what our little suitcase has. Okay, excellent. I have an axe for starters, which is always good. Okay. Oh, I hate how it does that. I already know about the uh, whole process of building. <coughs> Alright, so first of all, I'm going to take our suitcase with us, of course. And I love the start point that I started at, because it's a really good one in my opinion. We're going to go up this hill here. And we're going to find these little cabins. Set our suitcase down. And have a quick look-see. See what we can find in here. here we've got some ammo. Pencil, which is extremely useful in this game. Nails, same thing with those. Okay, so first of all, let me show you where we are on the map now. Using the one pencil. Okay, so you can see where the white triangle is. That's where we are. Um, where we started, I believe, would be right here, because we climbed up the hill. So where we started, I know you probably can't see my mouse cursor, but I just wanted to show you where we are, okay? So if you see the area marked community right above, that is where I want to make our base. So let's continue. Log here. Since we're taking this with us, we can, <coughs> we can put all of our findings in there. You can also hit tab at any time to pull up your stats. A little extra menu there. What I tell everybody is look around and scavenge, scavenge, scavenge absolutely every little thing that you can find because everything in this game will be useful at some point or another. Another hammer and another pencil. Alright, we're off to a wonderful start with the pencils. The hammers really don't need a lot of, but, well, I guess it all depends on where you decide to construct your base. Okay. Pick this up. We're going to move over to this other cabin. Now, I don't want to jinx it, but there may or may not be a certain item on the wall. Yes, there is. Single shot shotgun. Sometimes that doesn't spawn there, sometimes it does. We got lucky this time. Okay, got some 7.62 ammo in there. Some more 9mm ammunition there. A rag. Alright, so the 9mm ammunition can go in there. We're going to take the sugar out and put that in there. The rag can go in there with the other one. Keep the candy bar out and pop the sugar in. Hit M to pick this bad boy up. Now it's up to yourselves, um, you, you have a choice here, you can make this area your active base if you choose. <coughs> I just choose not to, because of personal preference, I just don't like this area. Pick up some firewood, come back down here, check the trunk, oh excellent, food and drink, both very useful items. Oh wow, car battery. I either never bothered to check this car in the past, or I just forgot there was a battery there. But either way, we're in luck. Okay. Now, seeing as how we have plenty of pencils, let's grab that. And where the hell do we... Okay, our suitcase is over here. Now let's pick up our suitcase. Now we're going to check our location. Okay, so now we're going to head straight down the dirt path, which will lead us to the community. Alright, first things first, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Pick up as many stones as you can find on the way to where we're going. 
The maximum that we'll be able to carry is eight. Just because of all the other crap we've got. Also, um, that SUV we just passed, the trunk uh, is always consistently empty. There is never anything in that vehicle. I've, I've started this game over at least two dozen times, and there has never been a single item in that vehicle. <laughs> so, moving on. Um, if, while you're running, your stamina bar disappears, just let go of shift for a minute and then press it down again, and your uh, stamina bar will come back up. Oh, excellent. Look at this. Lots of stones. The reason you need a lot of stones is because we're going to be constructing a fireplace, which requires stones, a furnace, which requires stones. I don't want to eat any food. Firewood we can get more of at any time. Because you're going to want to collect all these resources that I'm collecting now. Because if you don't, you're really going to regret it later. But we can always venture back this way. But, is there any way that I can improvise and make more space? Is there anything here I can put away in there that stacks? Uh, of course not. <laughs> but you know what? I can get rid of that log because we can get those anywhere. So hang on a second because now I can collect more stones. Wow, that log is just... Wow, look at that. Finally stopped. <laughs> My videos are unfortunately limited to 10 minutes apiece, remember, so let's get a move on because for this video I want to, at the very least, reach the community. As I said, um... In one of my missed survival Let's Play videos, yes, this is going to be a Let's Play. <laughs> In my second video, more than likely, I want to name the uh, YouTuber that I was telling you folks about that uh, gave me the inspiration to build my base in this community up here because he did an awesome job. He refers to his dog as Leo, though so that might give you guys an idea of who I'm referring to. I can't really remember his, his, um, his channel name or anything off the top of my head. <clears throat> but I know that I'm subscribed to his channel. <clears throat> okay, so this is the community. Now, if you if you watch me carefully, I'm going to show you guys which building is the most ideal. It's this red one right here. It'll be next to that little carport. You'll never have anything to worry about going inside this building. It's completely empty. There's no enemies in here or anything, so it's perfect for building a base. This is your little alcove or alleyway, which I like to build my furnace out here. I mean, you could, you could either do the furnace or the blacksmith place, but the blacksmith place is a little too large. So, we're going to go like this, and we're going to build our blacksmithing area out here. It's the blacksmithing place uh, serves this, uh, the same purpose as the furnace, plus more. It, it does a lot more than the furnace is capable of doing. But it takes 20 stone, and I believe we have about 12. So we're not going to use all that stone on that. Um, what I like to do, the first thing you guys are going to want to build is the DIY water purifier. It's, it is a godsend, because thirst and hunger are a must in this game, as you guys already know. Okay, so we're going to go to our... We're just about out of time. We've only got about 45 seconds. So basically all I'm doing is just putting the parts that I can into the water purifier. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to stick around and keep, on, keep an eye out for my second episode of this. Uh, see you guys on the flip side. Thank you so much for all your likes, subscribes, everything. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all your support. This has been a Rathco 2022 production. See you on the flip side.